fact, guys, do you know that when I was in Argentina and Uruguay, there was one thing that both Argentinians and Uruguayans were competing and they said they had the better one. I'm talking about dulce de leche. Yes, so it's a sweet dish which is extracted and prepared from milk. And both these countries produce it amazing. To be very honest, if you're an Argentinian or Uruguayan listening to me, I'm really sorry, but I liked both of them equally same. I'm completely in love with the product. So dulce de leche is one of the best things that Argentina and Uruguay has gifted to the culinary needs of my stomach. I hope you like the fun facts. Stay tuned. Hello, my beautiful folks. How are you? Welcome to the class. Today we are going to learn a conditioner for verbs ending with AR. Well, in short, the objective of this class is to be able to say things like I would do something, you would do something, he or she would do something, we would do something, you guys would do something, and they would do something. Right? So let's move on. The example verb that we're going to take today is hablar, which means to speak, which ends with AR. Also, folks, remember this concept or this standard approach is valid for all the verbs in Spanish which end with AR and which are regular. And we already know that regular verbs are those verbs which have a standard approach of getting conjugated and which do not have any exceptions. So let's move on, folks. The rule is very simple. You know, this infinitive or the root verb, we just have to add at the end of it these syllables in our favorite table of first person, second person, third person, singular plural. So it's ia, ias, ia, iamos, iais, ia. So let us take a look how the result looks like when you add these syllables at the end of hablar. So it is hablaria, which means I would speak. Hablarias, you would speak. Hablaria, he or she would speak. Hablariamos, we would speak. Hablariais, you guys would speak. And hablarian, they would speak. Now folks, you already have seen that you know, these two words are exactly the same. Hablaria, hablaria. And that's how the language is. So based on the context, you will understand whether it is for first person or third person. Well, folks, that was about this session, a short and sweet one on conditioner. I hope you learned and enjoyed this beautiful concept because, you know, it's very integral part of life and language to say this thing like I would do something, you would do something. So now you'll be able to do that for verbs ending with AR. If you wish to continue learning from me, please subscribe to my channel. Till next session, take care. Goodbye. Ciao, ciao. Bueno, estudiantes, espero que hayan estudiado algo súper importante y así que van a utilizarlo cuando hablen español. Muchas gracias por todo. Hasta luego. Chao, chao.